we are back here at the official New York Comic Con stream 2012, and we are in the Assassin's Creed cave. Uh, uh, I'm here with Valkyrie. What's going on here? What are you showing here? We are showing Assassin's Creed 3. We've got a little demo going of the frontier. You'll find three, you know, main environmental elements in the game. Uh, you've got the city. You've also got naval encounters now. And we're really excited about the frontier because it's an open, like, landscape, open world environment. I know. And this game is coming out, like, what, one, two, three? October weeks? 30th. October 30th. Far. It's like... In two weeks. Yep. It's right around the corner, really. I mean, you guys have to be really excited for this. This is our last big show. We actually, the booth, even our, our little man cave, as you yeah, call it, yeah, is even a, a lot bigger. Uh, we definitely wanted to go out with a bang. It's one of our biggest games of the year. We have a new hero, Connor, right. in a new time period, the Revolutionary War. So we're really excited. We know that a lot of um, hardcore fans are really excited, but we're also going to even get new fans because of the time period. So And also because it's um, it's an anti-hero, right? Yeah. Connor is kind of like a badass. He and is. And he's not a romancer like the other dude. He's half British and yeah. half Native American. Yes. And you'll find a lot just because of those, you know, of uh, his heritage. It's going to be really tied into the story. But it's not just a basic story plot. As he, like, fights to repel people from his native land, he himself is yet an outsider. So a lot of story elements there. Well, uh, it, it's cool to be an outsider. Right. Uh, yo, like Razor Ramon did. I don't know. That was an old, that was a long <laughs> time ago. That was the NWO days. But look, there's boxes. There's crates here, right? Yep. And what, is there anything inside these crates? Is there any <laughs> hidden, like, uh... Prohibition stuff? What is no, going on? No, no, no. Uh, we do have muskets. We have barrels. We've got some flags. Those flags are awesome because they are, they're those, custom -made those for are us. the custom-made Assassin's Creed flags, right? And when I first saw that, I was like, wait a minute. What happened here? What time period is this? Oh, it's Assassin's Creed. Yep. So th with the game coming out, right, with mm -hmm. you guys being super stoked, is there anything that you can talk about? Sure. Sure. Yeah, we've got a lot of cool new features in the game. Of course, you know, the Assassin's Creed, you know, fans are hardcore. So we've kept a lot of the core elements, but we've added a ton of new features. Um, you've got some amazing new weapons and things that are, are yeah, core yeah. to Connor. The weapon and uh, the bow. Uh, we've got the rope dart. Those are going to be really exciting for fans. We've also definitely um, increased the number of characters on the screen. You can have over 2,000, and that, like, helps set up Revolutionary War scenes. You've got amazing environmental detail, just as the developers have uh, taken such care with designing cities and maps and keeping being historically accurate, accurate uh, they keep it just as important to design the environmental landscape now that we're in the open frontier. So you'll find rock climbing modeled after real free free rock climbers. Um, tree navigation is a huge thing, obviously, you know, being the one thing the devs always joked about is, you know, they can never climb the one thing in real life you could climb yeah, in right, real life. A tree, trees. A tree, so right. that being integrated now, now that we can actually climb that is a is a huge bonus for us. We've also got some stalking zones like in city or frontier. You'll be able to maneuver out in these stalking zones and kind of sneak up on prey, be it on two legs or four. Um, you've got just an amazing There's new influx. Lot, right? yeah, yeah, they really went to town. This is one of our biggest game. It always has been. The fans on our are hardcore, so every little addition that they always add is targeted for making it just ten times better. W what happened? Like, why the historical accuracy? Why did why did you guys go so in detail with the historical part of it's it. It's just that it since the brand was first started, it was always really important, especially like with our previous assassins when we were in Renaissance type eras. You know, it was important that when we designed the cities and the and the layouts, that is as historically accurate as possible. So you'll have that same in the cityscapes, like when mm -hmm. we're in Boston or New York. Once again, they take you know the maps are you know a scale of one to three, so design. But you'll have all the historical landmarks and the maps of the cities as they lie in that time. Right, right. No, I mean it's really, really. It's, that's always it's very insane. important. I was walking around Boston and I was seeing things that were yep. in the game, yep. but like 100 years ago, yep. 200 years ago, right? Yep. And I, you know, so in multiplayer, right? Like yep. I, the multiplayer has been revamped, right? Yep. It is amazing. It has been. You know, we're not up. talking a lot about multiplayer right now, but sure. yeah, it's definitely awesome. what the, what's always good about this brand is they take what works and then they add things that make That's it that much better, and you're gonna find that in multiplayer. Oh as well. well, you know, I'm just gonna hood up, right? Because I want to yeah. feel like an assassin, assassin right now, right? Yeah, baby. And you never know who's uh, who's walking out there who's part of the creed. Right, it might bump into you. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hood up like I am right now, and I'm gonna thank you, Valkyrie. This has been amazing. Is there anything else you want to say? No, nope, just we make leave? sure you get the game. It is releasing October 30th, all major platforms, including the Wii U, uh, for those that want to play right, it on the Wii right. U. Yeah. Well, that'll be a little bit after the because sure, sure, it's sure. November 18th. But um, or yeah. So uh, that's releasing a little bit after the the launch of that. And uh, make sure if you haven't pre-ordered it, you've definitely is last couple of weeks to take advantage of the pre-order incentives. 
you get a dope shirt, right? You get a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, here shirt. when you pre-order yeah, at Comic-Con. Right. Here, we definitely got special for Comic-Con. You know, the conventions, they always right. get the extra special stuff. So we've got the exclusive limited edition Assassin's Creed t-shirt they automatically get when they pre-order. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm done feeling like Justin Bieber. I'm going to take off my hoodie now. And thank like you so Connor. much. Like Connor. Like Connor, yeah. Oh, no, that's right. I'm like Connor, not Justin Connor's Bieber. Connor's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Valkyrie. Right. And I will see you around, and we will see you right back here at the official New York Comic-Con 2012.